Once again, we take to the air and head for the inland, flying over the high mountains, away into the blue. Passing over the impenetrable coastal swamps, over these vast mountain chains, deep valleys, unknown lakes, and finally, away inland, we see the little valleys where the stations are situated, and there, the little villages of the native peoples, and nearby, the rough strip hewn out of the, the jungle, usually on a fairly steep angle. And as soon as we land, we were surrounded by these primitive Stone Age peoples. Most of them armed with either a handful of bows and arrows or great long thrusting spears. You can see the very primitive types they are, hardly emerging from savagery. As usual, vast interest was displayed in the flying bird that comes to land in their midst. The MAF fly in stores and mail and take out what supplies they can. This woman is calling two tribes to a peace conference. There had been a battle. Forty warriors had been killed and now the two warring tribes are being called together to enact a peace ceremony. It looked rather a warlike type of peace ceremony to us as they brandished their spears and bows and arrows and made passes at one another, but we trust that some form of peace was established between them. This boy was brought into the mission station having had a tree fall on his leg, badly crushing it, and Trevor Bond of New Zealand carries out some first aid. The boy was in great pain, but very stoical about it all. Each morning, they bring in the supplies of vegetables. The missionaries hand out seed and plants, which they take away and grow, and then bring back the resultant produce and uh, exchange it for something that they need, an ax, a knife, some cowrie shells or any form of currency, salt. They are very keen to get salt and a few spoonfuls of salt will buy quite a few vegetables. Here they're bringing in some hands of bananas. These same wild tribesmen in the process of being pacified become workmen for the mission Various ones of them are selected for the day's work. And Charlie Horn gives to them tokens so that they can draw some instruments. And they go out into the jungle and cut down the trees and bring in the bark for building of the new schoolhouse. This way they are both pacified and uh, uh, big advances are made in learning their customs and language. The foundations are dug, ready for the posts of the new schoolhouse. And soon, rising from the foundation, the school begins to take shape. And another uh, bridgehead is established in the needy people. Children are a great help in establishing friendly relations with these people. And the women folk of this tribe receive their first gospel message. Once again we say goodbye to a faithful band of hard-working missionaries and set off for another...